Hey guys, and welcome to part three of the alternate picking course with me, Rex Pearson from rexpearson.com. Now, hopefully, you've got a solid foundation in your finger independence exercises from the previous part. This is what I like to call the trill zone, and what we're going to be doing is working on your left hand endurance. You need to be able to obviously play fluently, which is your finger independent side of things, but also to be able to play for longer periods of time without your left hand cramping up or getting injuries in the left hand. And a great way of doing this is by training your endurance with the left hand and your strength with the left hand. The best exercises are the trill. Now our three lesson names are quite simple. You're going to look at the trill exercise and we're going to look at how we can play it in different places and how we can develop the left hand using the trill to improve our strength and endurance. You're also going to be um, looking at developing your left hand endurance. And finally, you're gonna be looking at setting yourself a goal for each of the four exercises that are here to develop left hand strength. Okay, so the first exercise should use a shape you're familiar with. You need to know the pentatonic scale, the minor pentatonic scale in the key of A. It sounds like this. Okay, you should know that already, but if not, check out my beginner guitar course because you'll cover it in there. Now, we're going to use a trill. Now, a trill is where you rapidly alternate between two notes. Sometimes it's called a flutter, sometimes it's called um, a trill. It doesn't really matter, they mean the same thing. It could be any combination of notes. It could be a wide gap, or it could be a very small gap. A trill should be rapidly alternating two notes equal time between them, so that you're not getting a, an odd sounding trill. Now, the minor pentatonic shape, we're going to work through it as a trill. So the first two notes, you're going to start on the high string for this one. One and four fingers, don't use the one and three because I'm training your whole hand here. And a lot of guitarists will try and get away with using one, two and three fingers for pretty much every riff. It's bad technique and can lead to some real strain in your playing when you don't actually need to. The little finger will feel a little bit odd for some if you've never used it, but do try. Trill between the fourth and the first. Trill between them, four times, one, two, three, four. Now the, a good trill is going to be loud and powerful throughout, it doesn't fade away, and you only get that with good pull-off technique from the fourth finger. Remember that a pull-off, you're pulling down the neck towards the floor so that it pings the note. Like, a, like you're plucking the note with the little finger. That's what you want to hear. You pick the first note and that's it. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to descend the scale using the correct fingers, doing a four, four trills on each string. Third finger here. Now what you'll find is as you go down the strings, it gets a little bit more difficult to keep the trill in time. The thumb position has to be behind the neck while you do this trill exercise as well. So, you play that to a metronome. And then you move it up a string. ascending the strings, just like all these other exercises, by ascending strings you tend to play an exercise for a lot more if you can play it chromatically increasing a fret each time. It will um, make you play for longer, which is always a good thing with this sort of technique building. So that's the first exercise guys, trill on the minor pentatonic scale, four times on each string, descend down, move it up a string, do the same process. The final thing that you'd, I'd like you to do on this exercise is once you've finished on the low string, ascend. Descend down, you go up another fret, and through the exercise, ascending as well as descending. You'll find the ascending is more difficult than descending, but it's great left hand endurance technique. Make sure you only pick once. Any troubles, post a comment, okay, on that. There you go, that's the descending. And that's the ascending version. So the next exercise that we're going to be looking at is, old, uh, is a trill exercise that works on one string, 
And rather than going down in this uh, pentatonic scale, you're going to be ascending and descending in a harmonic minor scale. And it's quite a cool sounding riff, it's very Ingwie Malmsteen, if you know of him as a guitarist, hopefully you do. Um, and we're going to be working on that uh, technique. Now if I just show you the basic trilling pattern, and then I'll show you the shapes that we're going to move it through afterwards. You start on the fourth finger, you pull off, this is on the uh, seventh fret by the way guys, then you're pulling off to the first finger on the fourth fret, you hammer on onto the fifth, pull off, back to the first, and then you start again. The whole time, the first finger is going to be rooted in place. I discussed this in the first part, sometimes exercises require a finger to be down the whole time. This is one of those exercises. So don't worry about uh, lifting this one off all the time. This is going to stay rooted. So the pattern... And you want to make sure that the left hand, you can pick one note at the beginning, but that's it. And then you can pick after four trills, okay, between those two notes. That's the basic pattern. Now spend some time working on that trill. Until it feels comfortable. Bearing in mind you don't want to release the fingers flying all over the place. You're hammering on just behind the frets and you're getting strong pull-offs. They're the key things to a good trill. Then all we do is we move it through um, a position shift each time. So the first position shift from where we were. The fourth finger is going to land on the eighth fret. First finger is going to be on the fifth, and then you've got the seventh. Then we're going to move it up this harmonic minor scale. You're going to be going to the tenth, seven, and eight. Final one is the twelfth, eight, ten. And you can go one more if you want to. Thirteen, ten, twelve. Now the riff, you do four trills in each pan. That's the first one. And you're going to finish on that fifth fret. Now you do four trills in each of those. Ascend, descend. Nice and slow, I'm going to have the tempo markers for you there so you can see a good and awesome and a godlike level for this trill exercise. So give it a go, slow then set yourself a target at the end that you're going to try and achieve by the next part, okay? Okay, the third exercise then in our left hand endurance. Now all the exercises that we looked at so far can be used across strings if you want to, or ascend and descend, just keep everything relative. Um, this exercise is really going to work your left hand and it's aimed at using the combinations that you might not normally use as much. So it's going to work on your weaker areas. Now we're looking at a trill exercise between the first and second fingers, the first and third fingers and the first and fourth fingers. Now practice individually a trill between each one before we start this exercise. Next one, one and three, then one and four. That's the, th the three combinations that we're going to work with. Now the exercise basically involves you ascending with one trill pattern, four frets. Then you go back to the beginning and you do the next combination, up four frets, and then you finish with the one and four combination and you go up four frets. But demonstrate it slowly. You're going to do four trills on each um, pattern before moving up. One, two, three, four. Move it up. Now I've done four frets, I'll move it back down. I'll change combination. Then I'll go back down and we're doing the one and four. And that is the pattern. You could repeat that on the string below. It gets more difficult as you descend to the thicker strings, but it's well worth applying that um, pattern through all the strings. And then you've got a really good uh, uh, exercise for your left hand. Now again, I'm going to have the tempo markings up there on the left. Set yourself a target, or find out where you are before you do that, then set yourself a target. I'm going to demonstrate this exercise played at a faster tempo, but only play it to a tempo that's comfortable for you so that you don't start practicing mistakes, which again is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. the exercise.
exercise. And again, you could apply that to the lowest treble. <laughs> more difficult as you ascend. It's a great left hand workout and it builds into your final exercise of your trilling left hand endurance training which is this part. So let's get on to the final exercise before we move on to alternate picking. The final exercise in your left hand endurance training before we really start cracking with the right hand to get the technique sorted is um, a bit of a killer. I call it the trillzilla because it is a very tough exercise and it will work your hand um, I still use this even now as a great warm up before I'm doing a show or if I'm doing you know, something like this, even um, a filming session. I will run through this exercise because it's probably the best um, left hand endurance training that I've ever played. So, it's basically a trill exercise that works through every combination of your left hand and then it will descend through the strings so it gradually gets more difficult. So we're going to start on the high E string. You're going to stay rooted in one place, so from the fifth fret here. And the, the, the biggest reach is going to be a 4th fret reach. That's for now, anyway. One and two fingers is the first combination, and you're literally just going to trill it twice. Sorry, four times you're going to trill that one. One, two, three, four. The next combination is one and three. Next combination is four. And one, or one and four. Now the more difficult combinations come in. You've got three and two. You've got four and two. You've got three and uh, three and four at the end, or four three. So finally, running through those combinations in sequence, you've got two one, three one, four one, three two, four two, four three. Now the trill exercise runs through those combinations, and you're doing four trills on each one. Two and one. Three and one. Four and one. Three and two, four and two, four and three. That's it on one string, then you just repeat the process on the next string down. So let me just demonstrate that at a faster tempo so you can hear how it sounds. Then you move it down the string. all the way down the strings and you'll find the left hand will soon start burning. And remember that it's two beats per click. The whole way through. So measure your tempo according to that. Don't try and go for four notes per beat. Those are your four exercises for left hand endurance. 20 minutes at least a day on those exercises. You've now got two sets of exercises. Finger independence and your left hand endurance. You should be working on those before we move on to the next part where we're going to start looking at the ultimate picking side of things. So good luck with your practice and I'll see you on the next lesson. Catch you later guys.